Hello, welcome to Lexperts, a series to help guide anyone managing a commercial vehicle fleet to make the transition to electric vehicles. In this series, I'm going to be spending some time here at Lex Auto Lease in Bristol to talk with the experts at Lex Auto Lease about what to consider when starting the transition for a fleet of commercial vehicles. And to kick off this series, we're finding out why you should make a plan sooner rather than later and why having a transition partner is going to be absolutely invaluable. Our first Lexpert of the series is Chris Chandler, Principal Consultant at Lex Auto Lease and their EV Sustainability Specialist. Chris, I'm absolutely thrilled to pick your brains today because you have a wealth of knowledge over your 25 year long career. Why is it critical for businesses to start planning right now? We've got a deadline that we know we need to work to. And rather than leaving everything to the end and panicking, you want to have a good strategic plan to ensure that you're compliant by that time. Cars are fairly easy, mm. but commercial vehicles provide a few more challenges. And that's what you can really help with, making sure that every business has the right strategic plan. Absolutely. So Chris, if a business is feeling a bit overwhelmed, they don't know where to start, what advice would you give? Okay, L look for some of the easy wins. So look at vehicles where there are good electric alternatives, look at where there's good charging infrastructure and where you've got employees who are interested in making the change and uh, you know, have an environmental uh, interest. It's not like all the benefits are gonna kick in in 2035. If you start now, there are actually quite a few advantages. There are um, a number of grants for both charging infrastructure and the vehicles themselves. But we find there are some um, operational benefits. So um, electric vehicles typically need less maintenance, um, which gives you greater uptime, which is important with commercial vehicles. And of course, access into um, congestion zones and clean air zones. Um, electric vehicles don't pay um, fees for those. So that can be a cost benefit. Have you got some clients that you're working with at the moment who've already started that journey? So we've got customers in um, all different positions um, on the sort of transition scale. The benefits that you get from being ahead are some cost savings to be had because there are government grants for charging infrastructure and at the moment for commercial vehicles but not for cars. But also there are business benefits. A lot of tenders now are asking to see evidence of um, environmental credibility. It's always now expected of every business. It's not just a nice to have. Absolutely, yeah. And in terms of advice and I guess a bit of hand-holding, what can you offer different clients who are looking to make the transition? We'll look at their fleet and we'll identify where there are good electric alternatives. So we'll look at cost, we'll look at vehicles and then we can assist with charging infrastructure um, as well and workplace charging. And we have example policies and strategies for transitioning the fleet in time for 2035. What are the other benefits to a business of becoming more environmental? Reducing their carbon emissions um, is really important for all businesses. Um, they're doing ESG reporting and having um, a zero carbon uh, fleet is a big tick in the box when you're looking at um, you know, com being a competitive business. Well, Chris, thank you so much. Some absolutely fascinating advice there. Clearly, so much to think about, and ultimately, it's better to start the process now rather than later. Now it's time to hear from some of our experts as to why choosing the right partner is going to be critical in ensuring a smooth transition to electric. Having a plan is really important. Uh, we've seen fleet managers rush into the electric transition. There's a lot of complex areas from charging to the types of vehicles that you're going to need. A commercial vehicle has to be a tool to do a job, it's not a lifestyle or a luxury vehicle. You need to think about the cost, the choice and your responsibility. When do you charge? How do you charge? What do you need to navigate? The importance of driver um, education when you're transitioning to an EV is, is paramount. As experts, we've seen pretty much everything that can go wrong, go wrong. Moving over to electric vehicles can be a minefield. If you've got a good transition partner who's been on that journey before, they can help steer you through that minefield. 
Lex is currently assisting Mighty with expert bespoke planning. The UK's leading security provider wants to reach its net zero target by 2025, and it's on its way with 21% of its LCV fleet already electric and around 815 EVs due for delivery in the next three months. Every business is unique and everyone's path to electrification will be different. There's no one size fits all approach. But the fleet consultants at Lex Auto Lease, one of the UK's largest leasing companies, have the experience, the expertise to help you navigate all the options. In the next episode, I'll be gathering more insights from their experts with a deep dive on identifying the right type of EV commercial vehicles for your business needs. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon.